So today we have Simon with us and uh, I met Simon when I went to do a Pilates class recently um, and I was really impressed with how Simon actually uh, ran his classes and um, what impressed me most was the fact that he just explained everything so well and also that he he made you feel at home. He made you feel at ease immediately, which was fantastic. I've never done Pilates before, so I thought it'd be a great idea just to bring Simon on, just to explain how he got into this and, uh, you know, and really the benefits of Pilates. So welcome, Simon. So um, tell us a little bit about you and your background. Hi Paul and thanks for having me on and uh, delighted to hear that you enjoyed the session and uh, it's going to be great to see you back in the next few weeks. So thank you very much for those kind words. Um, so basically with Pilates, so I've been in the fitness industry for about 10 years and I started off as doing personal training, doing Pilates, well, doing uh, circuit classes, doing spin classes, and doing a lot of the high intense style exercises. And I was doing it nonstop. I was getting up at 6 a.m. I was getting home at nine o'clock and I was doing that from Monday to Friday. And at the weekend, I just wanted to hibernate, shut myself away and just not really speak to anybody. Um, and gradually as I was getting into my mid to late thirties, um, I was starting to struggle. My body was really, starting to struggle to keep up with the pace. I was waking up with, with such tight shoulders, tight neck, was unable to move from side to side where everything was really tense, um, was getting lower back pain, um, getting pain around the hip, and just generally mentally getting very, very tired and exhausted. And I was feeling completely different to the way I was when I first started. Um, and I knew I had to make a change. Um, so that's when I sat down and I thought, okay, how am I going to change my approach? What am I going to do? Because I can't carry on, otherwise I will completely shut down. And the risk of picking up an injury, and more importantly, possibly a long-term injury as well, the risks were getting greater. So um, I thought, okay, well, there's two well-known types of exercise that are really helpful for your mindset, uh, to help you stretch and to help you stay flexible and also maintain strength in your body. And those two were yoga and Pilates. Mm -hmm. So I tried them both and Pilates came out as the winner for me. And that's how I got in. And I started training with it and I spent six months to gain my qualification um, and came into it and I feel after spending the last three, four years doing Pilates, I feel I've regained another five years of my life. Um, it really, really helped me. Um, it's actually given me more flexibility now at 40 than I had at 20, which is really a kind of unheard of because you are more flexible when you're younger, but now I seem to be more flexible now. Um, so it's been absolutely incredible. It's really helped me. And because of most of the people that I work with are probably like mid thirties upwards, they really benefit from Pilates as well because of the nature of their work and the stress that they have on their lives. This is the form of exercise that just really helps to take away the aches and pains that they're suffering from. It helps to strengthen their bodies and also helps to relax their minds. Just allows that time where they can just forget about everything that's going on. Um, and then Pilates, since discovering it, since qualifying, um, that's my, my true love. My, my one, my one um, passion and, and, and love is, is, is Pilates. So it's like you found your purpose. <laughs> I found it well I think finding you know being in the fitness industry was was yes I found the the industry to be in yeah. and now I've found that one specific thing in the industry that I feel that I think 
anyone of any age of any ability yeah. will absolutely benefit from yeah i mean it's interesting what you said about you know as a pt because you know i know quite a few pts who have been in a similar position where it's almost like you're you're kind of so on the go physically all the time uh, and it's like you suffer with like a like burnout in the end especially yeah. the more clients that you take on and you know so you've talked a little bit about uh, some of the benefits of pilates i mean are, are there any others um you obviously talked a little bit about you know how it's affected you and the benefits that you've seen are there any others that you can think of I think for, for, the, for the general public, um, the first issue, and there's a number of issues that, that, that people um, will identify with, um, but the first one is, is posture. Now, for most of us, you know, we spend a lot of time on computers, um, in front of TVs, um, even sat down when we're eating, driving. We're in these positions where our backs get very, very weak and we become quite rounded around the very top of our backs. And what do we do to deal with that? We tend to not think of it because it's just our day-to-day -day routine. It's only when we start to notice and start to feel the tension pressing on our necks, pressing on the top of our spines, that's when we start to notice and start to be aware of the posture issues that we have. And that starts to cause a chain reaction. So when you start to get stress and tension on the top of your back, that will then kind of escalate and then you'll start developing issues around the middle of the back. You get that kind of hunch. Sometimes you may notice it on people if you walk down the street and you may see them almost Quasimodo type. They're really hunched over and they've got this huge hump in the middle of their back. And now as you go along the back, as you go down along the spine, then you start to experiencing an issue with the alignment of your body where you start to find yourself tilting forward or tilting back and if you're carrying a little bit of weight around your stomach you'll find that that weight is pushing you forward and that's just putting your whole spine out of alignment so this is having a complete knock-on effect which will then go into the hips go into your knees start causing you knee pain because of the pressure and it just has a, an ongoing effect. And then after a few years, maybe even less than that, mm -hmm. your body is almost on the verge of shutting down. Right. And then if you have a fall in an accident, then the likelihood is that you're gonna to start to cause further problems. And then 10, 20, 30 years later on down the line, the, uh, the problems get worse. So Pilates is all about correcting all of that. So if you are suffering from posture problems due to work or just general life, then Pilates will teach you how to hold yourself in the position that your body naturally needs to be in. And the more often you come to Pilates or the more often you do little bits at home, the more it really helps just to keep everything in the right structure. So it's helping you keep yourself in a nice, natural and neutral position that's going to protect you, keep you strong and going to help, you know, reduce the risk of any um, long term and short term problems later on. So you've got the posture issue there. Yeah. Um, you've got other issues as well. So we've got stress, uh, so mental stress, so stress from work, stress from anything really. Um, Pilates allows there's you. There's plenty of that about at the moment, isn't there? There's, uh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's quite, quite a lot of that, <laughs> quite a bit. Um, but with with the Pilates, because we are strengthening areas of our body, improving our posture, but we're also helping to stretch out those tight muscles. So if you're sat in front of a computer, you can be quite round-shouldered. So we stretch out that area. So everything becomes freer. So you start to release a lot of tension away from those muscles that are overused. Mm -hmm. And just by doing that, you're going to release a lot of stress from you, from your head. Mm -hmm. And mentally you are going to feel just so much lighter, so much more relaxed. There's a lot of emphasis on breathing 
And because of that breathing, we're allowing ourselves to be calm. We're allowing ourselves to just forget about what's going on in the world. Shut the world away because this is an hour where it's all about you looking after your health, looking after your well-being and looking after you physically and mentally um, so that you feel that you're recharging, your batteries are recharging so that the next day you're going to wake up and you're going to have a fully charged body and you're ready to go again. So you've got a lot of uh, mental benefits as well from the Pilates. Yeah. I mean, I must admit, I mean, uh, during that first session, you were talking about, you know, finding that kind of balance. And it was really interesting, just very, very simple exercises that you did. And you start to actually feel where you're maybe not standing the way that you should be. And it's such a, it was such a simple thing. And yeah, it really worked. And the other thing I was going to say about what you've just mentioned is that <laughs> the first time that I did it, it was probably the best night's sleep I had <laughs> for a very yeah. long time. So that, yeah. that was, a, that was certainly yeah. a big benefit for me um, because, you know, I found of late that I just haven't, I haven't had what I call restorative sleep. Um, but then since that one session, it just made such a difference. So yeah it's really cool so um you you were saying that you know if people you know they kind of get into this kind of daily routine and their posture is not great and so on and of course that can affect them later on in life so would you say that it's a good thing for for young people i mean you said that you know the majority of your clients are maybe you know, people that have been in work for a little while and maybe have, you know, led a fairly sedentary life, perhaps, or a sedentary job, at least. Um, would you say it's a good thing for younger people to start so that they get the posture right in the first place? Yeah, absolutely. I think the younger you are, um, the more um, it's going to be easier for you to do when you get older. So, for example, you know, I can think of a number of people that struggle to keep their legs straight. Um, now, if you're from, an, from a very early age able to maintain that as you get older, it becomes so much more easier. So not only would it be easier for younger people uh, to be able to maintain as they get older, keeps their flexibility um, the best that possibly can um, but also it just helps them from a, a holistic point of view in yeah. order to stay calm so you know from an early age if you're able to control your breathing if you're able to stay calm under stress by using that breathing and staying focused and that's going to help you as you go along so from a younger age you'll develop these skills and develop these um these uh important habits so that you're able to carry on because when you're young you've got all the flexibility and all that strength building up and um, but it can go very very quickly so develop it from a young age and then it's going to be ingrained in you and then you're just going to be able to carry it on and it becomes a little bit easier as well as you get older fantastic i mean yeah it's a good thing to know um so I know that you, you alluded to the fact that, you know, Pilates is something that you can do at any age. Um, but I mean, are there, are there certain uh, people or maybe certain conditions that it wouldn't be suited to? I mean, do you have to have a certain amount of fitness, for example, to actually do it? No, I think the great thing about about Pilates is that you could be at the very, very bottom. You could have never done any exercise. In fact, you know, if you haven't done any exercise in school, Pilates is probably the number one thing to go into. Um, one, it's safe, it's low impact. So it's not gonna be any jumping around, any high intense jogging that's gonna break you into a, into a, you know, your heart rate just thumping through the roof and you're sweating yeah. bucket loads. Yeah. So it's very, very safe. It's going to be safe yeah. on your joints. Um, risk of injury is, is minimum. Very, very low risk of any kind of injury. 
Um, and it's also done in an environment where the numbers in the classes are relatively small because there's a lot of technical, um, normally there'd be a quite a technical hands-on approach. Obviously at the moment, the hands-on approach is restricted, but there's a lot of um, adjusting and having to be in a certain position and feeling a certain way and feeling a certain muscle working. So from that point of view as well, if you're brand new to it and you've never done it, it's a great way to get those muscles, which you've probably not really used for a long time, mm -hmm. get them working, get them fired up. And that way that's going to help strengthen those muscles, you know, as you go on. So yeah. any level, any age, any ability, even for anyone that's pregnant, Pilates will be very, very beneficial because of the focus on the core strength, on mm -hmm. the abdominal strengthening, um, it's, it's ideal for anyone. It's safe, it's low impact, and um, it's very controlled. So the pace is nice and steady. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, um, in the class that I did with you uh, the other day, it, it was really nice, the fact that everyone kind of got almost individual attention. Um, and obviously, at the moment, um, with the, the various restrictions and so on, you know, you're having to limit classes anyway, aren't you? Um, but I was wondering, um, do you do you have any kind of online um, uh, classes or anything like? Is there is there anything that that people can can access online if they can't actually get to your classes? Yeah, absolutely. So the people that come to the physical classes. Um, they've got access to um, live Facebook classes as well. But if you're unable to come to a class yet, Facebook live classes, um, for those people that feel that they have to do it at a certain time, and there's that accountability aspect. So you've got Facebook live sessions, which run normally two to three times a week. Um, and of course, they're available to catch up on any time you're free. Um, and there's also pre-recorded videos as well. So there's a library of videos. So there's something that's specific for you, whether it's building up a stronger core, if it's to strengthen your legs, or if it's to release tension around your shoulders, you'll be able to find a video for that specific goal and able to go through that. And it's different levels as well. So you'll find a level that's gonna be suitable for yourself. Um, as well as a training program as well. So you get through an email as a training program. So if you don't have time to do a 30, 40 minute session online, then with a training program, you'll be able to take five or six exercises and maybe just do one or two of them and perform those exercises when of course you've got that free time. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, it does seem to me that, you know, Pilates is something that has uh, that's kind of available to anyone you know it doesn't matter what fitness level you are it doesn't matter whether you've been to the gym or you know done no physical exercise it doesn't matter what age um, or any of those things so it's uh, and as you say um, also for, for for women who are pregnant so it just seems to be like um, a, a, a kind of an exercise for uh, um, for anyone it's, it's like a you know kind of very rounded um, experience and I think you know I love the fact that it's not just the the physical uh, side of it that, that it affects it's the fact that it's the mental side as well um, so yeah um, so I would imagine that, that a lot of people watching this right now are thinking so you know, how do I get in touch with this guy? Because, you know, I'd really like to try this. And, um, and I know that, that when I saw you, we did, um, we did like a free um, session just to kind of, you know, try it before you buy it sort of thing. So, so tell us a little bit about that and, you know, really where people can get hold of you, Simon. Yeah, so um, absolutely, the, the sort of taste of Pilates, I like to call it. So obviously, you know, you want to see what it's all about. You want to give it a try and see if it's suitable for yourself. So absolutely, you've, you know, people are more than welcome to come along 
and give the session a try and see if it's the right suit for them. And there's classes that run through um, Medway um, and I will um, just uh, give you the notes on the timetable of the classes. So we have them running in Hartlip on Tuesday, sorry, on Monday and Friday mornings. Uh, Mondays are from 11 to 12 and Fridays are 10 to 11. And then on the Saturday, we do the morning at the United Services Club in Raynham, and that's from 10.30 until 11.30. And then for evening classes, the Millennium Centre in Raynham is Tuesday night between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. And then on Friday night, it's at the Luke Armour, uh, Luke Armour Studio in Featherby Road, which is from quarter past seven until quarter past eight. So that's when we run the classes, and there's a booking in system but if anyone wants to get in touch um, for more details or to find out about the booking in system then just email Simon Parker fitness at gmail.com Simon Parker fitness at gmail.com and then I'll respond and I'll give you all the details give you the link to the booking in system and run through how it works and obviously any COVID-19 procedures I'll give you all the details for that as well. So, yeah, that all sounds brilliant. And I hope that uh, people, you know, come along and give it a go because, you know, I've seen already how um, I've benefited from it. And I've actually just done one class plus a few of the exercises since. But I'm really looking forward to the next session. So thank you so much, Simon, for being here today. And... Um, yeah, and we'll no doubt be seeing each other very soon. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much for your time, Paul, and I can't wait to see you back on the class and anybody else that would like to come along. Looking forward to seeing you as well. Fantastic. All right, see you soon. Take care, Paul. Bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>